Hey, what is up guys? So what you're seeing is me playing against a pro team called Final Boss and uh, they were the best Halo 2 team. Halo 3, they did pretty well, but they didn't do nearly as much as they did in Halo uh, 2. But anyways, you see I threw off the rockets. Great play right there. I'm, not, I'm being serious. Anyways, you'll see that like, wow, does that name look Photoshop or says Asian Ice aka Slade Drake? You'd be right. I put that over there because uh, this video was uh, me. I used to boost up accounts, by the way, on Halo. Yeah, wow, oh my gosh, dude. Did he ELL boost for money and freaking Microsoft points? Yeah, I did that. Um, anyways, so I just cover up the person's name because, uh, you know, I don't want their name to be exposed. And don't want anyone to think, oh, man, they bought the account. Also, I don't think it would get their account. Man. I mean, heck, dude, I don't even think Microsoft cares about Halo, Halo 3 anymore. You know, with Master Chief Collection, they just ignore that game all day. But I figure I want to share this gameplay with you guys because uh, I really do miss Halo and I want to get back into playing uh, competitive uh, Halo. Uh, some of you guys know that I used to go into MLGs and I used to compete for Halo and it was such a blast. Even if, you know, we tactically never made it, uh, we still, you know, were able to compete with, you know, the top teams and, uh, you know, definitely do some work. I mean, uh, it's always fun just to play against the known players. Like, I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, I want to duel Asian Eyes. I, dude, I want to duel against... The freaking, uh, you know, really good, uh, you know, Call of Duty players, Halo players. Dude, I would love to play Scumpy. I'd love to uh, 1v1 Pramage, you know. It'd be so fun to do that kind of stuff. So I understand uh, where you guys come from with that. But uh, this is just a really good game. Well, it's kind of like one of the games that I found that I have. I had, I had a bunch. I don't know where they went. Don't have the old hard drive anymore. And look at the 4-3 ratio with the freaking bars on the side. This is like back in the day ancient alien technology. I don't know if this game was even in widescreen. But uh, nonetheless, it's a pretty close game for the most part. And it just shows you like uh, a different game. Because I don't think I've uploaded Halo on this channel ever. Maybe like once or twice a long time ago. But uh, I played the game a lot, man. I mean, I still, I still remember by heart like all of the weapon timers. Like uh, rockets are every three minutes. Snipers is just every two, uh, two and a half. But like those timers were like, you know, obviously the first one starts at spawn. Then it's uh, 1224. Then it's... Uh, 955, 721, 455, like, I played this game a lot, I even coached a team, like, I even got, uh, free flight, and then, uh, I went to New York, and I coached a team for Halo, it was a blast, I mean, uh, they did pretty well, too, um, but some other people, I got double teamed right there, so you'll see in this, in this role right here, uh, I think this was for Dallas, MLG Dallas, in, like, I don't know, I want to say 2008, maybe, uh, we were trying out, like, just, other people to, to, you know, just play with. Uh, I remember that the guy eliminated, that guy was really good that I was playing with. Like, I really wish that kid made it, because that kid was so good at the game. Um, the kid was way more consistent. Look, did, did you see that outplay right there? That 2v1, th he threw the nade, I juked the nade, and then I still got the kill. That was a really, really big play. I know some of you guys, like, you might not understand how good that play was that I just did right there. But you can see, like, Ogre 2 right there. That was a really great play. He's still probably one of the better... Uh, I was about to say Yu-Gi-Oh players. <laughs> one of the better uh, Halo players uh, that continued his career. Like, Ogre 1 just, like, completely dropped. Uh, he just, like, he wasn't performing well at all when it came to Halo 3. A lot of people were like, oh, my gosh, he, we need to drop him. He's the nade shot. Like, the thing is, I don't think some people understand. Just because you don't put up big numbers doesn't mean you don't do well in, you know, uh, a game. Because, uh, look, look at that. Like, like, that right there, did you even see that guy? Probably not. Did I see him? No, I didn't. Uh... In, in Halo, like, when people call out, like, he probably called out L4 right there. And then I was like, alright, L4, I got you. And then, so I, I shot the rocket right there. And one thing that's important with power weapons is always to put them on your side of the map. Or make it so your opponent has to reload them before they can actually use them. Uh, definitely a great benefit there. But I'm really hoping Halo 5 can really bring back Halo. Uh, and, uh, because Halo Master Chief Collection was like, it was such a flop. Like, the game doesn't feel that right. It still has, like, problems and, like... The, uh, the competitive side to it. It takes forever to get a match. Like, no one wants to play competitive Halo anymore, I guess. I don't know. I know there's the HCS series, but then they had to, like, cancel it because, like, they couldn't get the game working. There's so many problems with Halo. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Halo 5 can really do it because, you know, one month after Halo 5, maybe no one's going to care about Halo because I know specifically they wanted to release it before Call of Duty because they, they know it was going to happen if Call of Duty came out at the same time as Halo. Uh, people would just be like, oh, I'm just going to go to freaking Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty sales technically have been going down, although Advanced Warfare surprisingly did pretty good in Japan. This is a dingus move that I did. I don't know why I decided, I had a head glitch, and I was like, no, I'm going to jump on it, I'm going to get the extra, uh, you know, uh, angle on them, but there was two of them, but I, I figured both of them wouldn't challenge. And you saw I threw the nade there towards our OS, but, uh, I mean, OS doesn't spawn in MLG, by the way. This is, this is MLG, uh, so, um... A lot of things are different, like uh, where things are, 
Um, the health settings are different. The movement speed is different. It's better. Like, the game is so much better. You see that it's 9.55. Our sniper should be dropping. But it got dirtied over here. Um, because they picked it up as soon as it spawned. Like, when weapons spawn in Halo uh, 3, they spawn, like, one inch off the ground. If you grab them, like, I got out bird, out BR there. But if you pick them off, like, one inch off the ground, they actually won't spawn at the correct times. But, uh, yeah. There, there was going to be a good nade right there. No one was there, so it didn't really matter. But, uh, that nade right there, if it would have went into the pocket, they don't even see it. It blows up, and then, uh, they just take damage. If they're, like, you know, R2, they're going to bottom to, you know, try to protect themselves. But... Yeah, I'm really hoping that uh, Halo 5 will be good. I kind of want to upload this video because I found it. I was like, oh my gosh. What the heck? I got to just sh I gotta share this with you guys. Cause I know some of you guys really enjoyed Halo. But I can't wait to play Halo 5. But anyways, that's the end of the gameplay, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. But thanks for watching. Asian Ice, out.